Hi everyone, welcome back to Legend Eddie. Today I'll take you on a local Singaporean breakfast tour. We'll be covering three different dishes which are Kaya Butter Toast, Mi Rebus and uh, Dao Hui or in Mandarin would be Dou Hua or Dao Fu Fa in Cantonese. My uncle actually once translated it word by word, literally translated would mean tofu flour. <laughs> so I hope you're hungry and let's go eat. We're now at our first stop for Kaya Butter Toast at Hap Seng Leung. And we've heard that this place is one of the best in Singapore. Of course, it's not one of those toast box or yakun kind of chain places, but that's why it makes it more local and more tasty, hopefully. Let's try it out. There are literally are only three ingredients in Kaya Butter Toast, which are bread, butter, and Kaya, which is a kind of sweet coconut jam. The special thing here is that they are using real charcoal to grill the toast to give it a charred flavor. Yep, that one's clearly burnt. Wow. Oh, you're using charcoal? Huh? Real charcoal. Wow. Wow. Hello. So after toasting the bread, step two is to spread the kaya coconut jam at thick chunks of butter and cut them into halves. Fix up the coffee and voila. Breakfast is served. Kaya butter toast, which comes in a set with soft boiled eggs and the specialty of butter coffee. Normally, what we do is we put soy sauce and pepper into the egg, like that. Mm. Nice. It's not super crispy. I would say this is probably more of the steamed version, but on the outside, a bit crispy, right? Like a mix, kind of. Mm, mild and um, just the right amount of sweetness. Typically, you dip your toast into the soft boiled eggs. I'm not used to having almost uncooked egg, but this is the style. I think if you're a foreigner and you come to Singapore and eat this for the first time, it's a bit strange. I mean, especially the egg. The toast is fine. It's like a kind of coconut jam, which is sweet and with butter, very fattening and juicy. But the egg. Even now, after trying it too many times, sometimes when the egg is not boiled enough, it's. The taste, right? It's too soft for me, the, the texture. Anyways, uh, this butter coffee. Mm. Creamy, a bit more oily kind of coffee taste. <laughs> it's just. Is it like kind of milk cream? Just a bit of different texture. Mmm. 6.80 for three portions of um, kaya toast, which is six slices, right? Uh, one portion of soft boiled egg, which is two eggs, and two coffees, one butter coffee and one coffee of song. We just finished our kaya toast session and we're heading to the second stop now, which is Mi Rebus. The place that we are going to is called uh, La Fandi. And yeah, we are not really that hungry anymore, but for you guys, I'm gonna try more local breakfast food so that we can see what's good here, what you must try when you're here in Singapore. The main ingredients of Mi Rebus are yellow egg noodle, covered in thick gravy, which is thickened with potatoes with a sweet, spicy and slightly sour taste. Common garnishes are lime, bean sprouts, hard boiled eggs, prawn, sometimes mutton and of course chilies. This is three dollars! Tender and fatty. How do you like it? Pretty good. It's 
sweet actually. The gravy is very sweet, I think. Make sure to squeeze the lime, mix it into the mi rebus, and then with a little bit more of a sour taste, it will taste perfect. Now I will try a bite with the green chili. It's got a good kick to it. Have you tried? Yeah. Let's see. I don't know if it's out of focusing, but this is the green chili that they put all over the noodles. Yeah. This is the spoonful of gravy, noodles, and chili. stops of kaya toast and mi rebus we are finally craving something sweet so it's time for a very very nice local dessert which is also often eaten for breakfast and it's called sohua or daokufa we are trying a famous bean curd store on Geylang Road they started many years ago in Rocha selling on the street and then opening their first flagship stall in Geylang So this is the Tao Hui Dou Hua, which tastes like a super fresh, soft and silky kind of soybean pudding. It consists of only a few ingredients, which are mainly soybean, water, kind of a gelatin to help it congeal. So the texture is very smooth and silky. And when you bite into it, it's really nice, juicy and sweet kind of soy flavor. So one of the items we ordered is the fried dough fritters. It's called Ya Zhao Guai or Yu Tiao. And this is hot soybean milk. And what we can do or what a lot of people do is to dip the Yu Tiao into the soybean milk. And it's supposed to be very delicious. Let's try. First, we try the soybean milk. Mm. Not too sweet. It is sweet, but um, I think that's how it's supposed to be. This is the Asian version of churros. Okay, this Yu Tiao, it's um, not that crispy actually. It's very, very oily. Literally, this is dough fried in oil. Wow, the bean taste is really strong. I would have expected the dough fritters to be a lot more crispier and actually they are quite soft and um, let's say uh, soft, a bit, of a bit dry with all the soybean milk and not very airy. Hey, if you want to come here and want to try the dough fritters, definitely get a hot soybean milk with it and dip it in and together it's a great combination. Another dish that they have is the egg tart. It's really flaky and it looks really firm. So, let's try and dig in. So that was a lot of food. I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to some of the available breakfast foods here in Singapore. There's so, so much more like roti prata, nasi lemak, dim sum, so yummy. Um, I'll be doing a lot of more food videos for you guys in the next weeks and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so I can see you next week.